my name is Eliza and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the Tis the Season book tag. Now I'm going to link the original creator of this video down below for you guys if you want to watch that too. So I just thought I should do some kind of Christmassy type of book tags for you guys because it is tis the season. Now this tag consists of eight different questions that I will be answering for you guys today. The first question is, do you have a favorite winter read? I don't, I really don't have a favorite read. I think I've answered this question for a fall book tag or something like that, but I don't have a favorite fall, I mean winter read. The second question is, find a book with blue on the cover. Now I wasn't sure if they mean like a physical copy book or like I have my small bookshelf. I picked up this blue book, which is Aragon, and as you can see, you know this uh, uh, little bookmark that I got, which is about 88 pages in? I have not gotten past that 88 pages. I got this book so long ago, probably, I don't know, it's maybe is it stretching to say 10 years ago? I never finished it. And I really actually enjoyed the movie. And I know people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, you enjoyed the movie. It was such a horrible movie. But then again, I haven't read the book. But someday I hope to read this book and maybe the series. So comment below if you read the series and let me know if it's actually worth it or not to read because it seems like it was one of those series that was really popular. Yeah, let me know if I should read this book or not. Question number three says, find a book you'd use as the star on a Christmas tree. Now I actually had to really think about this question because it was really hard to decide. So I decided that the book I would want on top of the Christmas tree as a star is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. I think it's mainly because, not just because of the name, which the name kind of would make it more magical, I guess, but also the decoration on the tree tree which is more it would make it more of a princessy tree but I just really like this cover and so I feel like it would be perfect for on top of the tree. Question number four says pick one fictional place that would be perfect for a winter vacation. Now I really I also had to think really hard about this but I thought that the place I would want to visit in the winter would be Hogsmeade because I feel like it would be it's such like a cute quaint place for the winter season season. Question number five says, pick one fictional character you'd take with you on your winter vacation. Now I would have to say the character I would take on a winter vacation would be Adrian from Renegades because he could draw up something that would constantly keep me warm because I don't like winter. I know there might be some people like, oh my gosh, she doesn't like winter, but I have lived in the Midwest of the United States for all the 24 years of my life. I just... I hate the cold. <laughs> I love how it looks outside and it's pretty, but I don't like experiencing the cold. Like maybe if it's tolerable cold, but not like cold cold. So yeah, Adrian would have to make me some coffee a lot or like hand warmers or like some kind of magical jacket that would constantly keep me warm. Question number six says, name one book on your wish list this year. Now I'm not sure exactly like wish list, like that I wish to finish or do I wish to have? So the book I would wish to finish, which I'm assuming that's what the question is, is One of Us is Love by Karen McManus and I've wanted to read this book for quite a while and I've seen that a lot of people have read this book on Goodreads. It just seems like a kind of like maybe possibly a thriller mystery book which I find that those are really fun to read but if it's if the question means which book I would like to have like on my wish list as in like Christmas wish list. I would say that would have to be a Court of Thrones and Roses series. So all of them. Question number seven says, favorite holiday drink, treat, and movie? Well, I would say my favorite holiday drink, it's just something I do every year, is when I make my coffee in the morning, I usually hoard candy canes. 
a lot during the season because I love candy canes. And what I'll do is I'll like break a little piece off, maybe like an inch piece, and I will put in my coffee so then it melts and makes it like a minty flavor, but not like extremely minty but just like a hint of mint with a very coffee flavor so I guess that would be my holiday drink my favorite holiday treat I really like candy canes but this is probably more Thanksgiving even though we do have for Christmas which uh, my favorite food around this time of the year is stuffing I love stuffing it's so good and oh just think about it. it makes my mouth water i would say my favorite holiday movie is home alone i haven't seen that movie in actually quite a few years and i've wanted to watch it but i just never get around to it they would do reruns of it every single year around thanksgiving time on tv and so i would watch it every single year and i enjoyed it and i would think it's so funny and i don't know if it, i would think it's so funny now but it's always been on my top holiday movie question number eight says who do you tag for this video if you're watching this video consider yourself tagged i hope you guys have enjoyed this book tag and i hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season and staying safe and driving safe because i know how it is with driving if you like this video hit that thumbs up button down below and if you want to subscribe to my channel you know my face right here just just hit it and i hope to see you guys next time Bye and happy holidays.